What is going on guys? Welcome to a new episode of Pixel News. Today we're going to be talking about the 3DS 11.4 update that just came out yesterday and what has changed, what has stopped, and what is the future of the 3DS. This is the 3DS's first update since the Nintendo Switch has come out. Everybody's kind of turned their focus to the Nintendo Switch and the 3DS hasn't really been t discussed too much, but I'm sure E3 it might bring it back into the spotlight a little bit. But let's get down to the nitty gritty with this update here. Nintendo has been brewing something up for a minute now. They've shut down sound hacks for the 3DS. We no longer have that primary exploit. It was kind of expected that it would happen, but they did update a crap ton of their side applications, just a whole bunch of changes within the, the OS um, and programs within the OS have been updated and changed. So sound hacks is officially dead on 11.4. There's been a new nfirm check, which could complicate things a little bit. Um, NTR, as usual, has stopped working, but there has already been a fix for it, and NTR is back up and running if you have custom firmware. Um, some users are reporting that Game Boy Advance Virtual Console and DS mode is no longer working on 11.4, which is very odd. Now, there has been an update for Luma custom firmware to add that functionality back in, so that is good to go if you are a custom firmware user. Homebrew Launcher is now functioning again on 11.4, but only for new 3DS users. Old 3DS users to me said that you guys are just going to have to wait a bit. That sounds like it's going to be an extended period of time and that there are some serious complications with getting old 3DS support to work again. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. That kind of sucks, but it is what it is. At least new 3DS users have got homebrew functionality. Man, HTT Pwn, which is what lets you bypass the update nags to get on to online services, has been patched in 11.4. This is crazy. This is serious. I mean, this is what a lot of people use to be on lower firmwares on Homebrew and still access online features. So now this is kind of not too possible. So 11.4 really is kind of throwing a wrench into things. Nintendo is making a dent in the Homebrew and modding scene. However, right as Nintendo launched 11.4, SME released an 11.3 kernel exploit. 11.3 is downgradable, you can install custom firmware on it, and it's back to the good old glory days with 11.3. So honestly, there's really not a lot of reasons to update to 11.4. It's a really crappy firmware for getting homebrew and hacking and all that fun stuff. So. I would say the 11.4 is the anti-firmware right now, the anti-custom firmware. So stay away from that if you can. It's interesting to see Nintendo making all these changes. You know, I, I do wonder if we will see 12.0 firmware, if we will actually see some new freaking features in 12.0, or if we will see 12.0 at all. Another thing worth noting is that there was a slowdown in 11.3 in Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D when you'd enter like the Sheikah Stone or whatever those weird stones that would help you across the game. I never used them, so I, I'm unfamiliar with them, but yeah, that would slow down the frame rate quite a bit when you would enter those stones. It's being reported that that is no longer the case, that in 11.4 they have actually fixed something, and that is what they broke. <laughs> Anyways, guys, crazy crazy to see what 11.4 is doing. Everybody, I would recommend just stay on 11.3 if all possible. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this new 3DS update in the comments section below. Please like it up, subscribe it up, and I'll catch all of you guys' future videos and live streams. Peace out, crew.